Mohammed, what do you do these days now? It seems the I sometimes wonder what you're doing. I... You know, it's really strange. I'm actually more busy now than I was uh, boxing. Uh, for an example, I was in Pittsburgh uh, yesterday and toured about three black high schools in one day, encouraging the youth. A lot of gang wars are going on. They're shooting each other and sniping at each other on the streets. And the principals uh, mentioned that with the things that I have done and sacrifices I have made, I'm about one of the few people that they might listen to. So. I went and they did listen and a couple of the gangs got together and we had a little secret meeting and they shook each other's hand and said they're going to try to stop fighting and shooting. A lot of them are taking dope and a lot of the girls are going into prostitution and we went to the schools, we talked with the various groups and we had a good time. And uh, yeah. I'm on a college tour also and my agent, uh, Richard Fulton here in New York, says that it looked like we're going to be booked for another two years in the colleges. And I'm also franchising about 500 restaurants called Champ Burgers. We have five of them in the Miami area. Champ Burgers? Champ Burgers, right. And we're negotiating on about 10 more buildings in Georgia, and we're coming up here and all over the country. And also, Random House will be coming out soon with my life autobiography, about four more months. So I'll stay pretty busy. Mm. That's pretty good. Is there any, any, how do you stand now with, um, the possibility of going to jail? Oh, I don't know. I'm just waiting it, any day now. Do you think about... <laughs> do you think about that, though? Do you ever think what you'll do if you Well, you yes, go? you think about it at nights when you're in the bed. You think about, you know, if I went this way, what could have happened if I went this way? And I've figured it all out. Uh, yeah. No people gain freedom until some have to die, some lose their wealth, some give up money. And like, uh, I would say, the white race, when uh, your people first got here, they didn't have these cameras and televisions and jet airplanes and air conditions and Howard Johnson's and Holiday Inns and Americana and Hilton hotels. They had to fight the Indians, watch their daughters raped and scabbed. Uh, uh, took six months to go from here to Los Angeles. Now you can do it in three and a half hours. But nevertheless, they kept fighting and cutting down the trees. And they didn't see this, but they made a way for the present whites to rule. And the Japanese in World War II they had these flights called suicide missions. They knew they would die, but they ran that plane, right? His life meant nothing when it came to the freedom of his daughter, his son, the future of his nation. And I would say, like, uh, the astronauts, three white astronauts almost got stranded in space, and their wives were waiting, and the Wait children were worried because they might, they, they could have uh, been out there now, still in orbit. Yeah. But for the progress of uh, white American space, eight astronauts died on the ground, and uh, three almost not got back. But whenever people want to really make progress, some have to sacrifice a lot. And I like to say, um, um, uh, white America right now is spending $30 million a day in Asia. Black and white boys are dying unjustly for nothing just to free somebody else. So why should I worry about going to little old jail to free my poor people who's been catching hell here for 400 years? Any black person in this country in jail, because if you ask the average one, we're already in jail. You know, we've been here in jail 400 years. How, how does uh, the subject I've changed gotten, so many I've, times I've in that long sentence that I really, I'm going to talk for a second now, um, <laughs> that I really don't know how that connects with uh, Howard Johnson's and everything, but um, uh, it's a terrific uh, le long uh, harangue there that you, you did. Uh, do you feel bitter toward the entire white race? Do you think there's something about whiteness that is uh, evil? No, sir. No, sir. Uh, whatever white people do, as far as evil or as far as uh, mistreatment, it's just the nature of the uh, white race to be this way if we check history. Do you think it there's might be human been, nature? Yes, just human nature to kill. If white ah, people, human nature. Not I watch television. If there's not a movie of white people shooting white people in shootouts and cowboy pictures, they're shooting Indians. If they're not shooting Indians, they're shooting Negroes. If they're not doing that, they're shooting reindeers or elephants or killing something. Just got to shoot. The system is built on war. Now, let and me ask you this. <laughs> Do you think if it had happened the other way around, for some reason in, in uh, what's the word, evolution, if the genes and the pigments had happened to work some other way, and if the nation of Africa, if the continent of Africa had developed the kind of civilization that ours has, um, and uh, if is it possible that what I'm trying to say is, is there something intrinsically I know this is this is part of the of the Muslim point. I assume the black Muslim point. Uh, 
that, that there's something intrinsically I'm just talking about history. aggressive I'm, about white nature that there I'm isn't about, about black. No religious point. What I'm telling you is in history books, in your own books about this. this I'm not bringing up religion or nothing. This is just a fact that the world mm -hmm. knows, you know. But I would say that uh, the, just the nature, from what I see of darker people, is peace. I say like the Japanese uh, seemed to be a peaceful people until somebody else came over. Uh, dictating and trying to rule them. The Hawaiians, uh, they'd be uh, on the beach doing their little dance. The Indian was building his uh, uh, whatever TP or whatever you call it. The African was somewhere doing his little dance. These people have never tried to go to other planets or slay and slave other people or take over countries. This Actually, is that isn't true. Uh, if you, you, you took the example, uh, no, let, let me just, uh, I, I don't want to get in an argument with you, but. Uh, Tahiti, for example, is always used as an example of the paradise that the white men came and destroyed. But if you look into the history of uh, when, uh, uh, I'm, I'm an expert because I just read a book about it, Kevin Cook, but um, that supposedly peaceful paradise where people did nothing but pluck breadfruit off the trees and make love and um, had no disease until the white men got there, actually uh, had a number of unpleasant aspects to it, like the fact that they strangled infants at birth uh, to keep the population down, that there were live human sacrifices. So I really, I know that there have well, been outrageous injustices about, against the black people I'm in this country, about, but it doesn't really get us very far to talk about something as if the white man were some sort of uh, intrinsic devil uh, that no That's other the race truth. is. You are right. What you said was the truth. The thing that you all have done to us is worse than the devil you told us about underground. How would you like it if I were to lead into a commercial now? Mm -hmm. Whatever you want to say, but when you say After devil, this message right. from our local stations, we'll return. <laughs>